Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Randolph. Just a forewarning. This video is very silly. It's a lot sillier than our other videos. That doesn't mean it's less serious. But here, we're a little more authentic. So it's a lot more silly. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Hey, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Randolph. And this is... Oh, wait, question. Yes. I'm sorry. Remember how I said in that last video, we'll talk about the whole autistic versus having autistic thing in the in future video? Yes. Remember how I said that? Yes. You remember that? Yes. Cool. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> hey, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Randolph. And today we're going to talk to you about the debate between should we say I am autistic or I have autism. That is interesting and uh, for me, and I'll tell you, can I tell you why it's interesting? Yes. Because I don't know if it should matter. I think it only matters if there's stigma, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it matters to you. And then I have to remember, I'm not an autistic person. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sir? Should we say a person is autistic or they're a person with autism? Do you say a person is black or do you say this is a person with black skin? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, go Are ahead. you a person with blackness? <laughs> so, you see, my response to that would be that black, being black isn't just about the color of your skin. Being black is also being part of a community of people in the United States and in other countries. Yeah, having a shared history and all of that. Whereas being autistic, we don't really have a sense of, com of camaraderie. You want to say it again? We don't always have a sense of camaraderie. Come. Com we don't always have the sense of being in the United group. We just have this sense of the only thing that defines being autistic is that you have autism. It's not like when you're black and there's this added history to you. So there's not a greater community of people with which you can identify. Exactly. I would like to argue because, hold on, on words, hold on. That was good. I would like to argue because not every black person is going to be part of this greater community. Like there isn't a community of autistic people, but it may be small and there might be smaller separate communities, but there is a community. But just because someone isn't part of the black community doesn't remove them from being black if they, you know, you know, are black and they have that history with them. Yeah, but if you're black, then you're automatically part of that community because that community exists because of that shared history. You may not engage in it, but you're still a part of it. But we do have a history. No, we, we there wasn't this media that came crashing down to earth and then it created autistic people. <laughs> have you heard? don't have a shared history. We have a shared mental I, 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 Disability? I, Did you call it a disability? I have to call it what it's legally called. A I don't think no, it's so. It's it's all legal. Legal. That's not Try it again. Is it a disability or a difference? A difference. You remember that, sir? Mm-hmm. Do you care? Do you care if we call it people with autism or an autistic person? I generally don't care. What irritates me more is people who make the argument that you just say a person with autism is a person with autism or you are autistic because not only do they both mean the same thing, I find that the argument that people make is that when you say you are autistic and not a person with autism is that you're identifying with the disorder. But that implies that they don't want you to identify with it. When it's something so intrinsically built into you as a person, you're essentially telling them to not identify with something that's a part of your identity. Yeah, but I think... The whole point... I... But I think we say that to our children who have autism or who are autistic because we're trying to protect them from the world. It's the stigma that goes with it. We're trying to influence how people interpret that label as opposed to how the label lays on you and how you internalize it. Yeah, but that it proposes complications. Saying I am autistic does not mean I am only autistic, right? Okay. So it's saying you can say I am autistic, and then but you can also say I also happen to be a boy or I also happen to be an artist. Yes, it's it is like, a portion of you. It's not the sum total. Yeah, it's like how it's if a, you're mixed, it's you a, are say I am black. You can say I am black and I am white. Like there's a mix there. People are ascribing saying I am autistic to meaning that there is exclusivity to that statement, that you are only autistic. autistic. Fair enough. You wanted to say something earlier. <coughs> that was not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I just wanted to cough. That was it. You have been thinking about this a lot since growing up. You yeah. always wanted us to say we have autism as opposed to we are autistic. But I find that to be a bit misleading because being autistic isn't like being, it's not like being a boy or being a girl where it's physical. It's not like I have interest in cars or, for example, maybe, where it's just a, a part of you. If your mind is a box, then you are defined by that box. By definition, to be autistic is to have a slightly different box. It's like saying you have humanity as opposed to you are human. No matter what, 
you still are a human being. You yes. cannot get rid of that from you. It's intrinsic to everything about you. Likewise, I have autism and I am autistic. You can't remove that from you without taking me away from as well. Because I am an autistic person. In the same way that you are a human person. By the way, just human and autistic are obviously not mutually exclusive, but still. So my question to you then is, do you care what label is used? No, but I do care about the context in which it's used. The stigma, as you put it. Imagine that, like... People are talking about me and they're like, oh, he's so weird. And then someone goes, oh, yeah, he has autism. Oh, <gasps> la gasp. Like, dun, dun. Girls, they have been clutched. My weave has been snatched. <laughs> oh, no. It's the statements put upon it. You, Both statements can be used in a way that is negative in the same way that they can both be used in ways that are neutral. I'm pretty sure that on my school's file, whatever it's called or whatever they use, that obviously tells the reader that I have or am autistic. But I agree with mom in that words matter and that the room that you choose can influence how you read them. If you were to read Michael has autism, then you would interpret that as this is a boy who has challenges who ha and those challenges happen to come from the fact that he has autism. Whereas if you read Michael is autistic, you might read that as Michael is an autistic child. These problems come from his autism. But then we can't control or know how a person is going to read that. Exactly. I was going to say, the only reason that that is a problem is because of the stigma that autism has. I have enjoyed this lively debate. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Are you going to engage? Excuse you. Try You're again. welcome. Like this. Good job. I appreciate it too. Well, I've enjoyed this lively debate. I hope that you've learned something. I don't know if we've decided anything, but it was a good discussion to have. And maybe you've enlightened some people. You think? Maybe. I maybe. think that we all came to the same conclusion separately for different reasons. We all concluded that it doesn't matter what you use as long as you don't have the stigma. Fair enough. Thank you again for watching. I'm Miranda and these are the lads and we'll chat to you soon. Bye. 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 Hi, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Miranda. <laughs> Let's do it again. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm sorry, I was looking at you while you were saying that. <laughs> Everybody just look dead in the camera. Yeah. Collect yourselves. Why can't we look alive? You're scattered. Why can't we look alive? I'm gonna keep saying this until you give me an answer. Okay, you ready? What? Okay. Is this my question? Why are you looking at him? Because he just said what we were talking about. Oh, sorry. But this is my question now. Oh, this is impossible. I'm mad because we could do my question. We can do it next. I told you we're filming like three or four. You said two. You said two or three. Yeah, Mom but. Does that. Mom, well, y'all, listen. Mom.